This is a video abstract for a paper entitled on a generalization of Chen's iterated integrals uh, to appear in the Journal of Number Theory. My name is Sheldon Joyner and I'm a postdoc at the University of Western Ontario. This paper presents an interpolation procedure for certain Chen iterated integrals which in a manner of speaking allows for integrating a complex number of times. So the motivating example comes from that of the Riemann zeta function which at positive integers admits an expression as an iterated integral of the following kind. Now we asked a rather quirky question of whether this could be interpolated to a general complex argument. So we want to replace n by some complex number and uh, the, the motivating computation for our definition comes from, a compu from this, this integral as well using only the shuffle product formula and the, iterated, the antipode property of general uh, iterated integrals we're able to show that this integral is the same as that of Arbel. And the points at which we use that n is an integer parameter are exactly uh, the properties I mentioned, the shuffle product formula and the antipode. Now, in this particular case, it's easy to imagine how we would generalize these uh, formulae. And this is really the basis for our definition. So we're able to, de to define an object of the following kind, where alpha and beta are holomorphic one forms on p1 minus three points and S is some complex parameter, chosen in such a way that the integral converges in a suitable sense. Also, we were able to show that uh, such a gadget satisfies an iterative property of the following kind. So W would be some other complex uh, parameter, and we first integrate alpha beta to the W, and then be against beta to the S minus W. Uh, now, uh, such, such things it's possible to show uh, give a, the unique interpolation of the Chen iterated integrals. So perhaps it's not that surprising that, that this notion corresponds with the clas classical fractional integral of Riemann and Liouville. And this iterativity property is the same as the classical semi-group property on fractional integrals. But there's a non-classical uh, iterativity property, namely a multiplicative iterativity. And also, carefully examining the definition, we can uh, arrive at a definition of such an object in a very general context, namely if you have a complex manifold, alpha and beta are holomorphic one forms, and S is chosen suitably that, uh, that everything converges, uh, then uh, we can define such a, a gadget which again satisfies such an iterativity property. Moreover, in the paper it's shown how a, a generalized co-multiplication or co-product formula is also satisfied by such things. As applications, um, I can mention that this co-product formula is used to give a very direct proof of the monodromy of polylogarithms. Another application is the following. So Gelfand and Shelov in the theory of distributions have a very nice theorem which expresses that this very special uh, normalized uh, distribution, x plus to the s over gamma s, admits an analytic continuation which at negative integer parameters coincides with the nth derivative Dirac measure. This can be explained very nicely in terms of iterated integrals, where if f is kind of like our test function, uh, then integrating against f, f against this form dz over z to the s, uh, one can analytically continue this subject to certain technical conditions on f and show that the analytic continuation coincides with the nth derivative of f. Uh, a final application in the paper is uh, to show that the Dedekind zeta function, um, although it's, it's known that it admits an analytic continuation of a functional equation, uh, one cannot prove these facts using uh, Riemann's contour integral approach. An obstruction is provided by the irrationality of the residue at s equals 1. Thank you very much for your attention.